Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Chris Davis and today we're going to do an episode review of Loki Season 2 Episode 4. So, um, this was, um, what do I think of this? This was still a very good episode, really good. Um, I, for some reason I was expecting more. Um, but this was still an awesome episode. So, before we go any further, spoiler warning, if you have not seen this episode and you don't want to hear any spoilers, please click off this video, um, watch the episode and come back. However, if you don't care for spoilers or if you've already seen the episode, please continue to watch. With that being said, let's get into it. All right, Loki, season two, episode four. So, as I said earlier, this was an amazing episode. So, the episode starts off with Miss Minutes telling Renslayer the big secret uh, Kang was keeping from her. And the big secret was Renslayer was Kang's second in command. Like way before she started even running the TVA, she was his second in command and she helped him defeat all the other Kang variants and armies. And like she was his right hand man. But uh, Kang, um, he decided to wipe her memories and let her be head of the TVA and let her do all the work while he stays in place. So Renslayer was actually his second in command. She knew who he was um, before joining the TVA, but he wiped her mind. And I believe he mentioned he wiped her mind. So um she couldn't oppose him because he even admitted himself he couldn't have defeated all those variants and all those armies without her so really she has all the power not him so to keep his power for himself kane decided to wipe her right wipe renslayer's memories so she could just run the tva and he could just um set up and is thrown at the end of the time controlling everything so that is revealed um we go to the next plot point to where loki morbius sylvie they're all trying to save the tva um what's going on is um the different time branches are are, sp are spreading out throughout the timeline and the TVA can't manage all those time branches. And if they don't contain them or do something, the TVA is going to be destroyed. They have the Kang variant with him, with them to help fix this issue. While they're fixing this issue, Ren Slayer sneaks into the TVA. She has Miss Minutes locking people out. Um, the other Minutemen that try to cause a mutiny in episode two. Uh, Ren Slayer uh, goes to them while they're in prison and she says, if you help me take back the TVA, you all can have your place in the main, in your own timeline if you want it, in the main timeline if you want it. Brad of course takes it because he loves being a movie star. Everyone else says, hey, we'd rather die than follow you. And then. Renslayer takes them up on that and like she kills all of them with the torture machine. Brad is able to uh, take the Kang variant away from the guard that was watching him. And so for a moment, Renslayer and Brad and Miss Minutes have the Kang variant. Obi, he uh, turns off the security measures so Loki and Sylvie can use their magic. and. Sylvie and Loki use their magic very cleverly in this episode. Brad tries to go out and see what all the ruckus is about. Loki distracts him and then I believe Sylvie puts an enchantment on him. And when Sylvie puts that enchantment on him, Brad comes back to Renslayer. Renslayer's like, what on earth is going on? Uh, Brad under enchantment prunes Renslayer. So, is Renslayer dead? Is she not? I don't remember the rules of pruning. I don't know. I don't remember the rules exactly. I think if you're pruned or dead or you just go into another timeline or something, but it was something about like 
when you're pruned, like you're not actually. There's some other rule to it, I don't remember. But Brad pruned Renslayer, so Renslayer is gone for the time being. And so they're able to um, get the Kang variant. They're able to devise a plan to stop all the different time branches from splitting out in the main timeline. However, they decide that the Kang variant, or the Kang variant decides, hey, I need to go out there and I need to go through with this plan because I'm the one who knows how to work this machine in case it breaks down. And they're like, okay. He goes out there in space with the protective suit, but then he dies instantly. And the, the reason for that is there's way more radiation um, than there was in episode one when Morbius went out there and tried to save Loki. And so with the Kang variant gone and no one able to go out there because there's too much temporal radiation or whatever, it looks like the TVA is about to be destroyed um, in the next episode. And that's where the episode ends off. With the Kang variant dying instantly, going into outer space, and uh, the TVA apparently running out of time, no pun intended. And it looks like all that temporal radiation is going to destroy the entire TVA. So we have to see what happens in episode five. Does everyone survive? Does everyone not? I haven't seen episode five as of this recording yet. Um, I know they came out with an ep another episode. I don't know what happens, honestly, from doing this recording, I don't know. So we're gonna have to wait and see. It's out right now, I just haven't seen it yet. So um, that's all we have for today. If you liked what I had to share, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with all your friends, and also let me know whether you liked this episode or not, and if you did, what was your favorite part about it? That being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.